Hey guys, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the area and perimeter of a trapezium and a kite. So what is a trapezium, first of all? Well, it's a shape that looks like these that you can see on the screen. It has two sides that are parallel, and that is all. Okay? Notice that these two signs, sides are not parallel. So it only has two sides that are parallel to each other. Okay? That is a trapezium. So the perimeter is always very easy. You just walk around the edge. So you would go here, so that would be, let me just say here, perimeter is equal to 10 plus. Then you would walk over here maybe, and then you would go this way, so that's 6, and then you would go this way here, so that's 5. I don't walk over there. I'm walking around the outside. Okay, and if you had to go add this all together, you would get 24, Ugh, and I keep forgetting my units. Maybe that would be meters. Then for the area of a trapezium, it's quite a weird formula. What you do is the following. So let me write it down first. Half, your teacher might use different letters, but I'm just going to say half A plus B times by the height. So Kevin, what do you even mean by that? So what you do is you take the two sides that are parallel and you add them together. Okay, so that's going to be this part inside here, 10 plus 6. Then the half is always going to be in the front. Then the height, what do you guys think the height would be? Think about what we used as the height for a rhombus and a parallelogram. When we talk about the height, we are talking about from the bottom to the top. Okay, see how it makes 90 degrees over there? And 90 degrees over there that is what we want we never want to use these slanted pieces that is not the height so the height is going to be 2 you can then go ahead type this all on the calculator and you should get 16 meters squared then moving on to the example on the right hand side the perimeter is very easy you just add everything together so that's going to be 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5 and that's going to give you 9 let's just say that that's meters then for the area, we know how to do this by now. The formula says half. Then you add these two together. So 1 plus 5. Which ones are we adding? The two that are parallel to each other. And then the height is this one over here, which is 0 0.5. You can go ahead. You can type that all in on the calculator, and it should give you 1.5 meters squared. Let me write that a bit better. 1,5 meters squared. And that is how you do a trapezium. So guys, stick these formulas on your wall. Remember how to do this. And please don't get too worried about, is this an A, is this a B? Just know that those two, the A plus B, those are the two parallel sides, okay? And lastly, we need to look at a kite. So we should know that a kite is a shape that has two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal. So these two are the same. So that's one pair of adjacent sides, and then these two are the same. If you get that, then it's a kite. And so because those are all the same, it means that this is 5, and it means that this is 13. And we can also say that this is 4. Okay. Now, to work out the perimeter, that's obviously going to be very easy. We're just going to add everything together. So the perimeter of this one would just be 5 plus 5 plus 13 plus 13, and that's going to give us 36 and let's say meters once again now the formula for the diagonal I mean for the area of a kite is the following half diag 1 multiplied by diag 2 now what do I mean by that so half is just half diagonal 1 that's either gonna be this one over here or this one over here it doesn't really matter which one you choose so let's say, let's look at the first diagonal. What would that one's length be? Well, 4 plus 4 is 8. Now, we don't have the length of diagonal number 2, so what you do is the following. You do a little bit of your good old friend, Pythagoras. So, in this triangle over here, you could use Pythagoras, and if you did that, you would end up with, let's call this x, for example. You could say that... Um, 5 squared, and, and you can do Pythagoras in different ways. I'm just going to do it like this. 5 squared is equal to x squared plus 4 squared. If you don't, if you're battling with Pythagoras, I do have one of those videos. Just go up to the chapter on Pythagoras. And then if you had to get x squared by itself, it would end up as 5 squared minus 4 squared. And that's going to give you x squared is equal to 9. If you then take the square root, you would end up with x is equal to 3. So this little length over here is 3. 
Then you could do Pythagoras again in the bottom triangle. See, we've got another 90 degree triangle over here. How do we know that those are 90 degrees over here? Well, that's the properties of a kite. Pro kites always intersect at 90 degrees. So we could use Pythagoras. Let's call this one Y, for example. And we could say that uh, the longest one, remember the longest one is always opposite the 90 degree. That's going to be 13 squared is equal to 4 squared plus Y squared. As I said, if you're struggling with Pythagoras, there is a chapter on that. So you can go watch that. And if you had to get y squared by itself, you would end up as 13 squared minus 4 squared. And that's going to end up giving you 153. And then if you take the square root, you would end up with, to two decimal places, 12.37. So that means this length here, y, is 12.37. So guys, they like to use Pythagoras in kites. So just look out for that in the exams, okay? There we go. So we've got that length now. And so I've erased that, but we said that the area of a kite, and you should write this down, is a half diagonal one. So that's that's meant to say, let me write this better. Oh, it can be so untidy sometimes. Half of diagonal one multiplied by diagonal two. So what we'll say is half, then we'll put diagonal one. So for example, that would be eight. And then for diagonal number two, would be that one so you'd have to say you'd have to say 3 plus 12 comma 37 and that's going to be 15 comma 37 and if you had to go work this all out on your calculator you would get 61.48 meters squared why not pause the video and try the next one yourself if you would like and so moving on to the next one we know that this is a kite and so all of these sides are the same that's 25 and this would also be the same that's 12. now to work out the perimeter that's very easy you just say 13 plus 25 plus 25 plus 13 you just add them all together and so the perimeter is going to end up being 76 and let's say meters now the area remember we said the area of a kite is a half multiplied by diag one multiplied by diag Two. And so we know the length of this diagonal. That's just going to be 12. Oh, by the way, diagonals are these lines that go in the middle. If you didn't know that, um, I should have mentioned that. And so we already know the length of that diagonal. That's going to be 24, right? Because that's 12 plus 12. But the problem is we don't have the length of this diagonal going down here. So we just do some Pythagoras. And so let's do some Pythagoras. So let's say that this was X and this was Y. In a test, they would have given you letters. So you could have said like AB or BC or whatever they chose. But I'm just going to use X and Y. All I'm trying to do is to teach you how to understand what you... So if we did Pythagoras on this triangle here, we know that the 13 is the longest one. So we can always start off by saying 13 squared is equal to X squared plus 12 squared. As I said, if you're struggling with Pythagoras, you need to go watch the videos on that. And so you would end up with x squared is equal to 13 squared minus 12 squared. And so that's going to end up giving us x squared is equal to 25. And then if you take the square root, remember the square root is this one over here, you would end up with x is equal to 5. And so this length is 5. Great. Then we could work inside this triangle over here. And we know that this is the 90. So the 25 is the longest one. So you could say 25 squared is equal to 12 squared plus y squared. y squared would then be equal to 25 squared minus 12 squared. And so y squared would eventually be equal to 481. You could then take the square root and you would find that y is equal to 21.93. So that means that y is 21.93. Now we can find the area um, oh, that 21.93 is for this part going down here. So now we can find the area of our kite because we know that it's a half. So I'm going to say a half. Diagonal 1 is going to be 24 because I added 12 and 12. And then for diagonal 2, I'm going to add the 5 and I'm going to add the 21.93. Why? Because the diagonal starts over here and then goes all the way down, all the way down, all the way down to the bottom over here. And so that will be 5 plus 21.93, and that's going to be 26.93. And then you can just go type all of this on your calculator, and you should get an answer of 323.16 meters squared. And there we have it, guys. We've looked at the area of a trapezium and a kite. And we also looked at the perimeter, but that's easy. All right, guys. Thank you very much.